Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, and we have some pretty cool stuff to go through. So we have the next drop announced for this Saturday, the new exclusive one, which is the Golden Dragon Gale um, by Toy Tokyo. So it's a new Golden Dragon Gale. Um, we also have tomorrow's drop, which is Daredevil number one. I went to go through my price predictions on those and um, why I believe that this could be one of the most valuable comics we will see hitting the platform. Um, and on top of that, we had James Bond drop today. Um, I went to go through um, one specific variant, which I believe could be the most valuable James Bond uh, poster to date um, if not James Bond one of the most valuable posters in general on VV to date so just to wrap up I just I want to also touch on the price of Omi for today so firstly we have the next drop announced which is the Simone Leno um, Golden Dragon Girl with Toy Tokyo now we already have a Golden Dragon Girl in Vivi which is the ultra rare so this is kind of like the full Golden Dragon Girl and you know in typical Toy Tokyo fashion um, I believe that this is probably going to be around about a thousand mint number um, full fully gold colored and they're probably going to make it a secret rare now it's interesting because they've actually given us the date and time of the drop with secret rares, the point is they're supposed to be secret. You're not supposed to know when they're dropping or they're supposed to drop in some kind of like unknown way, kind of like what we had with the um, Black Hooverville Rabbit where it was given to Gemgate people or the uh, Ultraman poster, the secret rare for that, where it's given to people who are affected by the um, oversold bug that we had with Ultraman a while ago. So if they do make this available, you know, just n normally, then I'm, I'm fully confused by what secret rare is. Um, I know with the Marvel collectibles, they made the secret rares available to purchase on the drop, but David Yu said the reason for that is he wanted all of the rarities to be available normally, just so that new users could get familiarized with them, and then secret rares would be available in the typical like secret fashion. So I'm not too sure exactly what constitutes secret rare if they do make this a secret rare. Now, in terms of the upcoming comic, we have the first appearance of Daredevil Marvel comic number one. So what's interesting about this is the variants, um, the edition numbers are all the same. This is a classic comic, 1964. So given, you know, Daredevil's IP, um, if we have a look at the physical version, now the physical version is very, very interesting because the price of it is, you know, if we're looking at a 1.5, which is, you know, absolute trash uh, in terms of grading, um, it's still going for about $3,000. Um, if we're looking for high graded ones, you know, a 5.0 here is about six thousand pounds, which is like you know, eight thousand um, dollars. Let's see, we have any any high edition numbers? Let's see, there's a high edition, sorry, high grading. So we've got a 5.5 here for 16.5k uh, GBP. That's like you know about twenty one thousand um, dollars. Yeah, so you guys get the idea. Like this, this is a very valuable comic in real life. So. In terms of the pricing, I believe the common is going to go for around about 25 gems, the uncommon for around about 100, the rare for about 200 to 250 ultra rare, I believe can go for 1k, but then stabilizing around about that 700 mark. Um, secret rare, I believe some people are going to list it for like 2k or slightly less than 2k. I believe the true value for this is going to lay between 3 to 5k, somewhere in between that price point. So, you know, Daredevil, I believe, is going to be on the higher end of EV Comics, but we'll just have to wait and see. However, Daredevil is quite relevant in the MCU. I know that Disney is rebooting the series, so we should see, you know, Matt Murdock reappear. I know that the Kingpin, the guy who played him, um, as well as Charlie Cox, the guy who played the Daredevil in the Netflix series, um, they are up for working again on it, you know, via Disney. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Now... In terms of the James Bond drop today, so I got one rare, but I decided to buy a few more. And the reason for that is if you have a look now, previously when we had the hoverboard drop, you know, when people noticed that Mattel's logo was on a hoverboard, you know, that confirmed that Vivi had to get some kind of licensing agreement to use that Mattel logo. All of a sudden, you know, the price of that board just shot up. And, you know, people are selling the rare at retail. So if anything, you don't really have, you can't really lose when people are selling at retail. So the Walter logo is actually on the collectible and it's right in the center as well. So it's hard to miss. So Walters um, it is a gun manufacturer, quite a popular one as well in Europe. Um, and they make, you know, the kind of main sort of sidearm for, you know, the police, for example. So the gun that James Bond uses is the Walter PPK. 
and you know it's a typical concealed carry pistol so yeah the fact that they have the Walter logo on the poster that implies that they had to have gotten the some form of licensing now whether they got it direct from Walter or whether there was some kind of agreement via MGM like who knows but they had to have some form of licensing agreement in order to use that logo if they did not then what they would have done is just had the gun without the logo because that's what they were going to do with the hoverboard they would have had the Marty hoverboard without the Mattel logo but because they had the Mattel licensing they confirmed that on an AMA they were able to use the Mattel logo so you know it, it, it's pretty much common sense in licensing you cannot use someone else's logo and sell a product for profit without getting some form of licensing agreement and in this case they would not be allowed to legally sell these posters with the Walter logo on the poster without having gotten some kind of licensing agreement with Walter like once people start to notice that these posters are going to go up in value and this is the only James Bond poster which has you know some kind of um, you know licensed branding on it outside of you know what we can see with James Bond so anything that has double licensing on it I've noticed tends to do quite well so yeah I believe not just that I mean the artwork for this poster I think is definitely on the better end of the other ones I think this is actually the best looking artwork for all the posters but the fact that the logo is right in the middle you know people can see it it is recognizable iconic I believe that this should not be selling for retail at all which is why I'm actually buying more of these um, now lastly just the price of Omi for today so as we can see Omi has been on quite a solid uptrend and it has started to consolidate a bit and we are seeing a bit more of a downwards triangle forming and you know last time we had a downwards triangle forming as we can see here um, we then had a huge uh, breakout and we're seeing the same pattern forming here I believe in the next week or so we could be on track to see another breakout up to you know above that 0.7 cent region that's where I think we were going I said you know by next week should we should break 0.7 cents that's kind of my prediction that is with you know the master collector program article or utility article you know pending I believe that should be out end of this week that was kind of the aim but if it's not out this week, then, you know, m m most likely definitely be out next week. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. But for now, you know, Omi's holding strong. It had a huge upwards rally. So it's kind of been, you know, shooting upwards, then taking a bit of a break, shooting upwards, taking a bit of a break, and then it shoots upwards and then kind of consolidates again. And that's just the general trend we've been seeing of Omi, which is kind of the reverse of what we saw from, you know, April, where it went downwards, took a break. And then went even further downwards and you'd be just endlessly buying the dip and then you'd be greeted with another dip. So yeah, it's pretty nice to see that Omi's gone for a full 360 reversal. Let's just see how high it goes because remember that one cent region is where a lot of people are going to be taking profit. I believe we're going to be stuck at that barrier for quite a while. Um, not as long as people think, but you know, it's going to be a difficult resistance to break. So we'll just have to see. I believe we are going to need a lot of utility to break that point of resistance. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to go through with you guys today. Check out the description below for the Omi Homey t-shirts. Um, we've got two different designs. You know, all of your proceeds go towards supporting our future events and giveaways. And please do like, subscribe, support the content. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.